so the day wasn't going well to begin with, I guess. Uh, and then it came time to uh, move along. We had to get off of that position because obviously we had been ambushed there. There was a lot of noise in the jungle. People knew what was going on. And one of the fellows had been uh, shot through the mouth. And so he couldn't be evacuated. It was triple canopy. You talk about the jungle. This was the jungle, jungle, jungle. And uh, so there's no way to get any, any air support in there whatsoever. And so I went over to see him, his nighttime fell. I, I spoke to him a little bit and so forth. And then his nighttime fell, I went over because the, the perimeter was set up. And so I went over to him and I said, uh, I know you can't talk. This, this one fella had, had big bandages around his face and everything. And uh, you know, I was told what had happened. He took, took a round right through the mouth. And uh, so I went over and I said, I know you can't talk to me and that's okay. Uh, I said, but I'm going to talk to you. And since I had about 10 pay grades on him, I knew that you know he, he didn't have much choice. And so I, I did. I, I spent some time talking to him. And uh, the next morning, we were able to call in a helicopter. And because it was such a dense, dense forest, they lowered down the horse collar through the, uh, through the trees. You know, and, and suddenly, you can hear the whirring up overhead, and you can see the horse collar coming down. We, we took this young fella, uh, 18 years old probably, you know, at the time, and uh, been an experienced jungle fighter himself. I mean, he was a, a two-fisted fighter. I knew that much. And, uh, uh, and now he's being evacuated. And I hadn't heard him say a word, but as he was hoisted up, he went to a hand salute of all things and went up into the trees. And that was the last I saw him. And there he goes, I thought, wow. You know, when you think about what he's just been through and his spirit and his dedication to his brethren and, and so forth, and there he was and he had the presence of mind and he had the, the wits about him and the courtesy and so forth to render a salute to a fellow fighter. And I just, that inspired me. That, that really has inspired my entire life.